So now that we have our brush bot assembled, here becomes the first challenge that I want you to think about before we start thinking about converting to an art bot. As you see and it moves around, you can see there's no real rhyme or reason to the brush bot, but can you make some rhyme or reason of the brush bot? Is there a way, can you add pieces, could you modify or tweak what you already have here to either make the brush bot just spin in circles, to go straight, um, do different designs. So pick a challenge. Who in your group, if you're doing this in a classroom or at a workshop, can have the brush bot go the straightest, who can make it spin the fastest, those types of things. That's the kind of the first challenge to take this idea and tweak it. I mean, what if you modify the brushes? Could you add stabilizers? Could you start to manipulate things? So now this is where you have to start looking for what many people called found materials. And what I mean by that is just simple everyday objects. It could be toothpicks. It could be the old toothbrush stick that you had. It could be Play-Doh. It could be cups. It could be other tape, popsicle sticks. It doesn't really matter. Q-tips, pipe cleaner, cardboard, it does, straws. What can you do to start to tweak this brush bot to make it go straight or to make it spin really fast or make it go in a circle? That's what I want you to think about. And so that's the next phase to consider with your brush bot. Here is the key as you work through this is it's very important that you share your ideas. We're going to be keeping a collection of the most innovative original ideas, not of the brush bot, but what people do with the brush bot. So make sure that you're drawing sketches, make sure you're taking pictures and you're sharing that and all that information can be found on the lesson plan as well as on my website so that we can keep a whole database of the amazing ideas that kids and teachers and educators and just people in general are doing with their brush bot. So challenge one, how straight can you make it go? Challenge two, can you make it spin? Challenge three, can you make these go in a circle? That is the first brush bot challenge. Once you have that figured out and picture uploaded, move on to the next challenge, which is thinking about the art bot.